Chapter 28. What is your favorite thing to do? Is there any way you could get paid to do that? Honestly, they say if you do what you love all of the time, it stops being work. It is just life. Two years ago, my dream was to stay at home, watch movies, and type on my computer. I quit my job, found a better paying one that I hated. Quit it too. Found an okay paying job in customer service for chat and email remotely. The fancy word remote means from home. I got paid weekly from a reputable company. I was able to watch Hallmark movies, answer live chats, and emails. Maybe my dream wasn't as big as yours, but that dream came true. If we don't have the vision, we will never attain it. I'm a lot happier in life doing something I consider fun. I think we need to have practical dreams and crazy, out-of-this-world dreams. Our dreams can come true, but sometimes they come in small steps, and you have to be willing to work through the mess to attain the, the land of dreams. My dreams are worth working towards. My dreams are worth planning for. Now that I work from home, that is an extra 10 hours in my week that I'm not driving into my car. That's 10 extra hours to spend with my family or to write a book with. For me, working in customer service, typing 40 hours a week has made me a much better typer. My words in my head are pretty quick and now my hands can keep up. I have been told that I talk like triple the amount of the average woman. I think the exact quote from my mother was, you can talk 10,000 words in 10 minutes flat, no problem. What is something you do that seems normal to you that people make comments about? I know sometimes those can be positive or negative. For whatever reason, that thing makes you unique. Is there a way you can embrace it, create it, or expand on it? I don't believe in fitting into the normal. I believe in fitting into the best version of yourself. You should be the judge of what is better. You should be the judge of what is a better version of yourself. You know you. Let yourself be you to the fullest as long as no one gets hurt. Live your dream. Be your dream. And in the end, you will be happier. Just try to enjoy the journey to who you want to be or where you want to go. This week, think about your happy place. And if it is possible, try to turn that into a career. So you can be happy more often or even all the time. Your dreams are worth the effort. Chapter 28. So I've heard a lot of times people say things like, Oh, that's just a hobby. Well, guess what? We have Etsy now. And I don't have anything on Etsy, but my sister-in-law has an Etsy shop. And that basically means that she makes her little crafts that are adorable, outright adorable, and she can sell them. And she makes a profit. Maybe the profit isn't as much as it would take to run an entire household. But she enjoys doing it. It's something that she can do. It's something she can do with four kids in the house. What's something that is just a hobby that doesn't have to be? Because if you're willing to put in the legwork, you're willing to organize, you can do it too. It may be sewing up little stuffed animals and putting it on Etsy. It may be creating Christmas ornaments. It may be doing the candles and the scentsy warmers. Whatever is in your heart that you just love or enjoy, it doesn't have to be just a hobby. It can become a career. Yeah, you're going to have to work at it. Yeah, you're going to have to get organized. But wouldn't you rather be happy than miserable? If you have a dream in your heart, a hobby in your heart, maybe God has a purpose for that. Maybe you having an Etsy store or selling candle warmers allows you to be more present for your children as they're growing up. Isn't that worth something? I think so. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.